the aircraft just a little bit to the north of the target area. As Columbus smoke after indicating his rapid descent in the sky. Looking at that just a little Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the Thank <laughs> you. 
So he must release it completely. Return to free fall. To get as much of this as humanly possible. In a sense, they become human airport. Game lift as they stream across the sky at 180 miles per hour. As they execute 180 degree turns, they're nearly one and a half miles apart. Due to this tremendous amount of lateral separation, each chapter must first locate the trail of red smoke horizon and chase it down to his park. These chapters will cross. With whom what appears to be inches of each other, with their combined closest speed of 300 miles per hour. And there you have, ladies and gentlemen, the cross. In this direction, the left wing, right wing, and slot fire comes on his movements and forms a fly down the sky of the smoke trail. Since vocal commands cannot be heard while in free fall, the team leader must rely on handed on signals for communication. At 9,000 feet, the team leader puts his arm, signaling the equipment and slot wire to close in for the tight diamond formation. At 5,000 feet, the team leader puts his arm, signaling all four jumpers to turn. The four points of compass will form it a ball first maneuver. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, there you have the high fly black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. These servers are fixed with a unique situation. Extracting Jenny Scott. Each jumper must gain vertical separation in order to allow for individual approaches into the target area. This is accomplished by pulling down the front part of the parachute, spiraling down at speeds of 60 miles per hour. This allows the jumpers to set up a traffic pattern, just like you might see aircraft at a busy airport. And there you have, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, 